I've got Jack Nichols with me, BBC commentator for Formula One and Formula E. Now, Jack, I first heard you when you were commentating on Formula Two back in the day. Um, things have changed a bit since then, and you're now at the, at the top. How's it really changed going from when you know people can see what's going on on the TV to actually doing it on the radio? What do you have to do differently? The ra I find the radio a real challenge, and I am still sort of trying to get used to it because you can't. You have to explain so much more on TV. If there's a crash, you go, "Oh, look at that!" You know, in that sort of Barry Davis way. Whereas on radio, you've got to try and describe what's happened, why it's happened. People may therefore not get the implications of that. So if Hamilton and Vettel collide. If you're talking to someone who's listening to Five Live driving a van to, you know, up the M6, they might not get that the relevance of that, that it's a championship battle. So you've got to explain the context of it as well. So do you, do you find there's more pressure for you to apportion blame, whereas somebody showing, you know, talking on TV doesn't have to? Yeah, that, yeah, I think that's true. Actually, you have to, or at least describe how it happened. And if you're describing how it happened, by default, you end up having to sort of blame someone. You know, this happened because. Hamilton went on the grass and hit him or, or you know whatever the situation is so yeah it is a lot there's a lot more freedom than television because you get to choose the story of the race if if the TV director is showing Kevin Magnussen battling with Pascal Verlein you can just ignore it and you don't have to tell the listeners because they don't care probably um, and choose the story you want but at the same time it's a lot more work because you've got to build that story yourself now, um, in, t in terms of uh, Formula One, and you, you were talking about somebody watching it on the M6, traveling up there, you must get lots of feedback from people. What are the sort of various places people listen to you from? Uh, all sorts. I mean, the, the, the big thing is we also go out on the Formula One app. So that is global. So we have people listening regularly in, in the States, in sort of Texas. Um, we have a guy who tunes in every week, a guy called Rod Peel, who always tweets us from Bolivia. Uh, that, yeah, hi Rod, exactly. And uh, he tweeted us the other day saying, sorry, I missed FP1. I was at the dentist. And it's like, you, you know, you get to you sort of become part of these people's I've lives. got a note from my mum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, uh, Bolivia, the States, we get a lot of people who've gone on holiday to, you know, Bali or somewhere and are lying on a beach and want to listen and the only way is through the F1 app. So it, it's quite a global reach in that sense. Now F1's quite a long event, it's 90 minutes long and so it's quite nice when you watch it with your friends. And um, you know our suite at Brands Act, which is just beneath yeah. where you've done the commentary for the wrong pan. We're, we're doing a package now where people can come and watch the F1. Like we're doing it this Sunday. Um, they can watch the touring cars. And also there's some race simulators downstairs where we do qualifying in the morning and then racing in the afternoon at whichever circuit you happen to be on. Uh, what, what, how does that sound as a package for somebody as a fan? What do you reckon to that? I think it sounds good because the big, the big problem you always had, and I had it when I went to British Touring Cars at Brands or wherever I was going, it was going to be a real challenge to keep an eye out on the Formula One at the same time because it's not, it's not the same not watching it live. You know, it's, it's, it's not the same as going, going home and turning on the sort of video recorder and watching it again. It's not the same as seeing it live. So to be able to have that on the TV and watching the touring cars out of the window would be amazing. Okay, Jack Nichols, thanks very much for talking to us. That's Jack Nichols.